Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Sheila Harrigan, who is the chairperson for the Washington County Heartland Safe Community Coalition. And we're going to talk a little bit about the coalition. Um, in the past, we did a lot of programs with uh, the coalition on Channel 6 with uh, Wilma Sorrell and Isaac Fry. And the grant that was with that had expired. And we've been talking about that for the past few months. Right. So they're no longer doing that program, but the coalition still is in existence here in Washington oh, County, right? So. Very much so. We're still very much alive. We are in kind of a restructuring phase. We're trying to take the program. Now that the grant is gone, you know, you get dependent on that kind of thing and, and you get locked into certain programs. Well, now we're kind of taking it to a new level. We're wanting to find out what the community wants. What programs do they think would be beneficial for our youth? drug prevention, alcohol prevention, uh, we're, we're looking into bullying, um, anything that is detrimental that harms our children and kind of stunts their future. Uh, we we want to move forward in a very positive way. We want to be a very present uh, coalition out there and it is for the community. It's not just for the school or for parents or for teachers. It's for anybody. We understand that um, the employers in our community are complaining. They can't get employees because they can't pl pass a drug test. So that's very much an issue. Right. You know, um, that, that has to be addressed as a community also. So we're, we're trying to spread our wings a little bit. Uh, with doing that, I think we're going to maybe see some fits and starts, but we very much are committed. The, the core uh, board members are still there. Our community partners are still there. So I don't really see that it's going to change much, except maybe just a little bit of a new um, perspective on where we're going to go from here. So we'll look at this as an opportunity to restructure and move ahead. Yes, exactly. A new start, so to speak. Right. Now, you do have an office and you have a phone number and an address you want to hand out too because with the loss of the grant, obviously, that was funding. Yes. So we still do need some funding to make things possible. You have some funding come from the st uh, through the state with Kentucky ASAP, correct? Right. We do still get the Kentucky ASAP money, which is a, a grant that is the prevention of drug and alcohol. And we have that coming in. But as you know, there's a lot of other things that go with doing something like this. It's not just buying the materials. We do have to have an office. We have to have lights. We have to have a telephone, uh, a post office box, and so funding is needed. So if anybody is interested in contacting myself, uh, Sheila Hurrigan as the chairman, or Dana Kelty is our vice chairman, uh, Kathy Carrico is uh, the treasurer, they can contact us through, it's WC Heartland Youth, all one word, okay. lowercase letters, at yahoo.com. Com, okay. okay, or our uh, post office box is post office box 223, Springfield, Kentucky, 40069. Fantastic. And again, we're talking about the Heartland Safe Community Coalition here in Washington County. It's still going and hopefully going to be stronger than ever, right? Absolutely. Right. That's our intent. And before we wrap up, I want to mention that uh, Sheila has been named the Woman of the Year by the Springfield Business and Professional <laughs> Women's Association here for 2013 here in Washington County. So congratulations. Thank you very much. It was such an honor and such a shock. I couldn't believe it. It's really just overwhelming to be recognized in such a way, and I do appreciate it. Thank you. Well, congratulations again. Thank you. All right. It's been Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.